HPE Aruba Networking Central simplifies the troubleshooting process for organizations by allowing network admins to manage and monitor all their Aruba networking equipment within a single platform. Troubleshooting networking connectivity is traditionally a complicated and time-consuming task. Let's look at how simple troubleshooting switch port throughput is in Aruba Central. When launching the Aruba Central application, network admins will enter the global context at the overview dashboard. The global context shows all the devices across the entire organization. While troubleshooting, it can be advantageous to filter the list of devices quickly. Select global to bring down the contact submenu. In the contact submenu, network admins can see the groups, sites, and labels created for the organization. In this scenario, the network engineers are interested in the increase in users on Wi-Fi at the AnyCorp site. Filter the context view to AnyCorp to drill deeper into the networking infrastructure only at that location. Aruba Central provides network admins with a depth of information for each device in the network. Network admins can drill deeper into devices at both the global and site level. To take a closer look at the devices located at the AnyCorp site, proceed to the device dashboard. When entering the device dashboard, notice there are three tabs at the top of the page. These tabs are used to divide devices into three categories, access points, switches, and gateways. Data in each of the device tabs can be viewed in one of two views, summary or list. In summary view, network admins will be able to quickly look over data in graph form. In list view, information and metrics are displayed in column format. The column display can be customized by selecting the ellipse at the top of the table. In the Select Columns to Display submenu, network admins can view options of columns that can be added or removed depending on what they are trying to view or troubleshoot. For this scenario, troubleshooting throughput on the switch port for a given access point is the objective. It will be important to add LLDP neighbor to determine which switch the access point is connected to. Next, add LLDP port to find the exact port on the switch the access point is connected to. Knowing the port will help when trying to determine the port usage and power draw. Adding additional columns to the table is one way of finding the switch and port an access point is connected to. Aruba Central may have multiple ways to find the same piece of information. Let's drill deeper into the access point to view an alternative way to find the switch and port an access point is connected to. After selecting a device from the device dashboard, network admins are redirected to that individual device's overview dashboard. A device's overview dashboard will include a summary as well as other relevant tabs. To use the device level information to find the switch and port an access point is connected to, drill into the device's LL DP details. LLDP Details shares information about the access point's direct connections. This is an alternative way to view the switch and port an access point is connected to. Take note of the neighbor name and neighbor port as this information will be useful in the next steps. Click Close to continue. Now that the switch and port the access point is connected to have been identified, the network admin can begin to evaluate the port usage for the access point. Navigate back to the device dashboard and find the access point's switch. After selecting the switch, a network admin is redirected to the device's overview dashboard. Notice, the overview dashboard for the switch is different than the overview dashboard we previously saw for the access point. Different data appears depending on the type of device selected. Select LAN from the side menu to view a switch's port details and status. 
The land menu gives a view of the switch or switch stack, ports, and status. To find detailed information about a specific port, select the graphical image of the port. This page shows information about port status, usage, and more. Determining port usage of the switch port was required for troubleshooting. The last task is to find the port's power draw. Select the POE tab at the top to continue. From the current default view, the details about the port's power draw are not displayed, so that column will need to be added to the table. Scroll down and select the ellipses. Add the column PD Power Draw Watt to the table. The information found can now be presented to the network engineer. Aruba Central provides network admins a depth of information for each device in the network and simplifies end to end troubleshooting of the enterprise network from the client to the network core and beyond.